In this screencast, we'll build a project in Object 2 VR that has some view states. A view state in Object VR Photography can simply be defined as an alternative view of the object. For example, this multi-row Object VR uses view states to show the machine with the top on and with the top off. To change the view states, it uses buttons within the skin that use actions. And I'll show you exactly how this is done. Here's the image series. It has five rows and two view states. Using the light table to import, I'll set the columns and rows and also the number of view states. And because this is a multi-row project, a menu shows up here for selecting the view states. If this were a single row project, the states would be shown as rows. And here's a tip. If you hover over an image, a tooltip will pop up, giving you information about the image, including its column, row, and state numbers. And now I'll drag in the images. And everything looks in order, so I'll move on. I'll quickly change the default view. Next, I'll add an HTML5 output. For now, I'll keep everything at their defaults, except that I want to add a skin. I'll use the skin to add buttons to change the view states. I have two images here that I'll make into buttons. And I'll do that by clicking on the Add Button button, selecting them, and hitting Open. The images are added to the editor, and to make it easier to move them as a group, I'll add them to a container. This button will change to the covered version, or the base state. All I need to do is add an action. But first, I'll add its overstate so that when the user hovers over the image, it'll change, indicating interactivity. Now in the Actions tab, the source will be Mouse Click, and the action, Change View State. For state, I just enter the state's number. The base state is 0, and 0 0.05 is a nice slow speed for a smooth transition. For this button, I'll do the same thing. I'll add its overstate. And I'll add an action to make it change to state 1, which is the uncovered version. And that's all there is to it. I'll hit OK here, and then I'll output the project. And now we have a multi-row, multi-state object movie with a few buttons to change between the states. Of course, this is just a simple example, but we hope it sparks a few ideas and inspiration for your next project. And thanks for watching.